Okay, so you'll need this, 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 and this. But just start with these three. First, make what I believe is called a magic loop and chain two. Double crochet five so that you have six stitches or one half dozen stitches. Your choice. Pull the tail to close the loop and maneuver the stitches into a circle. Double crochet into the first stitch and mark it with that handy bobby pin. Do another double crochet in that same stitch, then do two double crochets in each stitch all the way around until you get back to that bobby pin. The next row, double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet one, and repeat that until you get back to the start. The next row, double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet two, and repeat that until you get back to the start. The next row, double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet three, and repeat that until you get back to the start. The next row, double... You get the idea. Keep increasing like that until you double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet 16, and repeat that until you get back to the start. At this point, it should look like a really big hat for a garden gnome. Crochet four rows with absolutely no shenanigans, just straight crochet. To start making it look like a real strawberry instead of a gnome hat, double crochet the first two stitches together, then double crochet four stitches and repeat until the end. The next row, double crochet the first two stitches together, then double crochet three and repeat until the end. The next row, double crochet the first two stitches together, then double crochet two and repeat until the end. Then stop and grab your antique sheep shears and cut the yarn. If you don't have sheep shears, regular scissors will also work. Grab the green yarn and attach. Double crochet five stitches, then chain one and skip the stitch below it and repeat for one row. This is where the drawstring handle is threaded. Now we're gonna make like a tree and make the leaves. Double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet two and repeat until the end of the row. The next row, double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet three and repeat until the end of the row. And you shall work so on and so forth until you get to the row where you double crochet two in the first stitch, then double crochet six and repeat until the end of the row. Then cut the yarn and weave in the ends. For those little seedy boys, just do a couple of chain stitches around one of the double crochets in a random pattern and secure the ends inside with a couple of knots. The strap is just three double crochets crocheted over and over and over again until it's long enough or you're bored and just want to be done. Then thread the straps through the holes you made earlier and sew the ends together. Adjust everything and voila! You are now the owner of your very own crocheted strawberry bag. Congratulations! If you do make your own strawberry bag, tag me so I can see it and let me know if this tutorial is actually helpful or if it just made you more confused. Thanks for watching and it was nice knowing you.